Welcome to The Breakdown, presented by Microsoft Teams. I'm Erin Summers, joined by Saints legend, Hall of Famer, and current radio analyst, Deuce McAllister. How are you doing today? Doing good. How are you guys doing? Deuce, how much do you think that the weather conditions, the possible temperature, and the wind could have a factor or impact on this game? It's going to have an impact. It's going to be a factor. I mean, I would be uh, kind of fibbing if I said that it would not have any impact at all. I mean, uh, when you look at it, look, there, there's got to be a football game play. Uh, you wish the elements were better, but they won't. And both teams will have to deal with it. I mean, one team uh, is used to at least being in it a little bit more, that being the Cleveland uh, Browns. But, you know, they don't play in this type of element or weather on a daily basis. So they will have to deal with it. So from a mental standpoint, you've got to go out there and deal with that. I think the run game is going to be extremely important in this one, stopping it from the defensive side and then establishing it for the Saints. It's been something that the Saints have continued to talk about this season. How can they get their run game going to help in the elements and just to help establish their game in general? Well, I think this is where you talk about from a Taysom Hill standpoint, Alvin Kamara, uh, even David Johnson, and you know we'll see if Benjamin is up. But all of those guys will get touches if they're up. You know, Dwayne Washington, he's been sick this week. Be interested to see if he's actually available for the game. Uh, but if he if he is, he's another guy that will get touches as far as from a running back perspective. And so uh, you've got to be able to slow it down. You've got to be able to stop it. This Cleveland defense has not done a great job of stopping the run. So that's normally conducive uh, situation. And if the, the elements were not so bad, then I would feel really good about running it. But, you know, at the same time, uh, you're going to have to try to deal with those elements and not having your starting right guard. Cesar Ruiz is definitely going to hurt uh, in that aspect. But I look for them to kind of play a heavy offensive line uh, set anyway, regardless, just because you'll use that to your advantage. On the other side of it, mobile quarterback Deshaun Watson is going to be taking on his fourth game at the helm there for the Browns after missing the first 11. And then he has somebody that's one of the best in the league on the ground in Nick Chubb. How challenging is it going to be for the Saints to stop them? Well, it's a big challenge. It's a big, big, big challenge for the Saints to be able to slow that offense down. Their run game, you know, obviously ranks up there high as one of the tops in the league. And they're going to be dealing with some of the same things that we talked about, vice versa, as far as the Saints having to run the ball, trying to control the clock and trying to stop that run game. And so uh, Deshaun, I'm interested. I'm interested to see how he handles those elements. Like you talked about, we know this is only his fourth game. Uh, he's a quarterback that has played traditionally in, in a dome. And so now he will be dealing with the elements of outside, trying to throw the football, trying to control the football, different things of that nature. And so I'm interested to see how he kind of handles that. I mean, but the number one person you talked about is Nick Chubb. I am looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun one. I know that you were cold. You were complaining about the cold in Pittsburgh. So I know you can't wait for it either. I will be layered a <laughs> lot different than I was in Pittsburgh. And so, uh, yeah, I wasn't very happy and pleased in Pittsburgh. But hopefully I'm a lot better prepared this weekend. All right. We'll see you there. Cannot wait for the Saints at the Browns this Saturday. This has been The Breakdown presented by Microsoft Teams.